Hi everyone. Hey, I'm going to show you some ideas today for these Christmas cones. And you can use them as Hanukkah cones, you can make them as birthday cones. You can use them any for any occasion, whatever you celebrate, you can do this. Now, this isn't going to be a step-by-step. -step. This is just going to be inspirational. So stay tuned and watch and I hope you enjoy. And please, if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me comments, share my videos. Love you guys. Okay, I wanted to show you these cones that I made, Le oh, not last year, about seven years ago, because I don't have two, uh, missing two for my youngest granddaughter, so I made them before the six-year-old was born, because I have a six and a four-year-old, because they don't have them here, so I'm going to say probably about seven or eight years ago I made these. Um, and I got this idea. I had seen these cones somewhere. Did not watch a DIY on it uh, anywhere. They, I didn't watch a video at that time. I don't know if it was anything, but I had just seen a picture of these on something. And um, you know, I just came up with my own pattern. And um, you can see that they're kind of flattened out because they've been away for quite a few years now. And um, they were lots of fun. And I can't think of them the material that I use, the stiffening material here, you guys probably know it, the sewers out there, I can't remember. It's some kind of fusing material because you iron the um, material onto the other material. So it's some kind of stiffening, fusing, I can't remember. But um, I may, I have to do two more. So next year, when I do the two for the other granddaughters, I will do a video on them. But I'm not going to this year, there's just not enough time, and I'm just going to give these to the kids that they belong to, and you can see, you make a pattern, and then you make a cone, you know, you make the, it's like a half a circle, almost, the pattern, and then you make it into a cone shirt shape, but first you want to iron on your material, and put your bric-a-brac and stuff on it, and then when you close, and you want to punch your holes for you so you can lace if you're going to do any lacing down the side that's what I did I punched holes with a hole puncher or maybe an awl I can't remember and then you know you add all your goodies to it and I just kept adding you know what I had around and this is the holly berry uh, so pretty and then I'll show you what I have here and then this these see I have to fix these it's like a little bit loose here so I'll fix that a little bit I'm gonna go over these and fix them iron them a little bit and they were sealed so they don't smell or anything they were sealed nicely in a plastic container so they're all in good shape there's nothing nasty and um, so and the bells on here another little Christmas little spiral little thing and they're really nice because you hang them and what I did here is I put these things but you can hang it from the corner here and you just fill it you know I like to give them a little bit of extra so I was just filling these with like candy and stuff and you know bags of cookies whatever and they have their regular stockings that I bought them from grandma and I got those from Pottery Barn and everybody has those uh, as long as we don't have any more grandchildren I think I don't know if Pottery Barn still sells those ones because I got them and then I got more and then other kids were born and I got more so I think I'm done with the, I've got the last child's uh, stocking and those are the Pottery Barn ones which I love but you know I, I just wanted to have some little more fun stuff you can see the little Christmas tree they're just really fun and they're fun to do now I did so many at one time so um, you know it, it was a lot it was a lot of work and that's only because there was just so many to do and you know, I get bored after a while and you know so I just you have to push yourself when you're doing this many and it's not something that I would ever make to sell because it's very um, I don't know, just tedious or, I don't know, maybe I would, I, I would say that, but who knows, you know, we all say, oh, I never do this, and, never, and then you wind up doing it, so, uh, and then this one has holly, holly berries, and, you know, all kinds of cool material, and this one has a little bit, really, it's braiding kind of detail on there, there's another one, little hearts, you know, there's so many different things you can do. And I, they all have bells because I wanted, you know, the noise. And then this one, very southwest. Um, I 
think this was for my son-in-law, actually, Jason. Um, he's into, you know, the Southwest and chili peppers and likes his food really spicy and hot, being born and raised in Arizona. You know, these kids are into all that. So, that, that one, I'm not pretty sure that's his. I'm not, but it couldn't be 100% positive, but who else would have that one? Because the rest of them, I don't really remember who's. That one only because it stands out because the chili peppers. This one, um, I don't know. I don't know who that is. But the star is really pretty. And then you just, you know, just added the bric-a-brac and all kinds of fun little detail to that. I mean, you can go on and on. You can make them any size. You don't have to make them this big. You can make them smaller. Uh, which if I was doing them again, I probably would have. I'd just make them like you know, up to here, so they're not so much work, and then this, and it's got the little button on there with the pretty stone, and then this, and just lace them up, you know, do them anyway, and there may be videos on these now, but, you know, this is going back seven or eight years, there wasn't, at least I didn't even look on YouTube for anything like this, I just happened to see that in the, a picture of them, and then, see the little had to be for my granddaughter, I'm going to say, because this is like really girly. And and then inside it has um, a sticker of, what's her name? Tinkerbell. So I'm going to say this is my granddaughter, Mackenzie, because she was, she's my oldest granddaughter. So she was, she was born when I made these. So the other two girls were not yet. So, so pretty. And that is that for me. I just thought I'd share that with you and give you an idea. I don't know if there's time to make these now, but um, you can make these. Just make them and put them in your art studio. Um, you make them out of different material or make them out of, yeah, different fabric and or different material altogether and then use them to store stuff. You can hang them on your wall, you know, and put a little... Uh, ribbon hook there and then just hang them that the camera is uh, these are so big I can't really get the whole thing and then you can you know put stuff in them and maybe maybe there are videos on this but all I know is that I just made myself a pattern you know kind of like a almost like a half circle and then just cut them all the all the uh, fabric out and all the material to make it stiff out and then I iron them I was just you know I kind of did everything one I did all the fabric cutting I did all this uh, oh I wish I could remember this fusing material did all that cutting and then I ironed them all and then I went back and punched the holes in this has grommets in it I put grommets in some of them so you know you kind of when you're doing that many you kind of have to so that's it and this is so pretty so I'm, I'm gonna say this is my granddaughter Mackenzie's because she was the only girl at the time and I probably went a little bit look at that it has little stickers on here flowers and yeah I'm sure they would like these and since we don't all live near each other if we all lived near each other then I would use these but um, since we don't I probably just send them to them once I get the other two girls done and um, then they'll have them and they're they can do what they want with them, you know. And that's it. That is it for me for any Christmas ideas, I think. We're getting close now. And I am in the middle of doing so much stuff here. And I will uh, share with you once we get done and um, let you see what we're up to here at my house. It's really fun and exciting. And hopefully uh, in the next few weeks we'll be almost done and I can share with you so thank you for being here and if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share 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 feel free to share my videos I love it um, I just enjoy all, all your comments and love that you're here with me and I totally appreciate you all and you have a wonderful wonderful holiday everyone be safe and have fun and be with your families and friends and have a joyous time whatever you celebrate um, love you all and thank you for being here. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Fix the camera a little bit so you, maybe you can see the colors better. That was just so washed out in there. So 
you can see colors a little bit better I think now it's so pretty the material and it just was very washed out I just didn't have the camera set properly so I'll show you how nice they are still a lot um, brighter in person but you just let's just check this camera and see if I can get it a little bit better hmm. yeah that's about it this is more of a lime green but it, it doesn't really look that when you're I'm gonna take pictures of them with the camera so you'll get a better let's say a better better look better idea of the colors yeah these are kind of a little bit washed out so okay so just to So much beautiful fabric out there for Christmas for the holidays that you can go nuts. So, you know, just enjoy yourselves and have fun. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.